Hey guys, my name is Gabby and I'm a second year marketing major and today for an after hand November I'll be showing you guys how to do a cute quick claw clip hairstyle. So the things you're gonna need is you're gonna need a spray bottle, um, you're gonna need a gel, the gel of your choice, um, also an edge control. You're going to need one of these hard brushes. Um, you're gonna need some bobby pins, especially if you have shorter hair. You're gonna need the rat tail comb for parting and a detangling wedge. You're also gonna need some oil and of course a claw clip. So the first thing you're gonna do is obviously take out your hair. And I'm gonna go ahead and just start spraying that to get that gel cast off. So that your hair is saturated, you're going to take um, your parting comb and part about from the middle of your head to your ear. That way, um, you have a nice large bang. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tangle that and twist that up. the rest of your hair you're gonna want to go to the back try and turn around and you just want to part a little bit of the back to help you create the foam claw clip look And now that all of that is part of the way, um, we're gonna go ahead and take some mousse, which I did forget to mention at the beginning, but you're gonna need to get some mousse. This is gonna help define your curls. This point your hair is very wet and saturated so I'm just gonna let that be for a little bit while it kind of just dries and it sets. I'm gonna go ahead and put that up away. <laughs> now what you're gonna do is take out that front section again. We're gonna start with one section at a time. And I'm gonna take some edge control, um, just because I feel like that's stronger for my hair texture. And I'm gonna just rub that in there. And now you're gonna brush it using this brush, you're gonna brush it down kind of like a bangle almost. Um, Now, if 
you have shorter hair like me, you're gonna wanna take a rubber band and go ahead and shoelace isn't moving from the top because you want the puff to be on top of your head and we're going to just pull it like this and then once you're done you can just uh, use a bobby pin to tuck the ends of the laces in so that they're not being seen. doing with all this extra stuff um, you're gonna take the the part that we parted in the back we're gonna take a little bit of gel and brush that up um, we're gonna take this extra bit and we're gonna take a bobby pin and just tuck that into the back so it's also out the way Hidden. And now we're going to take that last very last piece in the back of your head. We're going to brush it up a little bit. And then you're going to take your claw clip. You're going to take that, brush it up, twist it. And then you're going to take your claw clip. And there we go. Now you can just touch up the front. If you want to do some edges, you can. Um, I try to leave my edges alone when it's in its natural state. And just brush it back so it's smooth. You can take a pick. Um, and pick out your hair. So it's nice and big. Also before it dries, I like to go in with a little bit of mousse um, and gel. 
and just kind of define the individual curls. Um, I normally use wet line, but this works just as well. And I'll do that around the whole head. You're going to want to lay your scarf down and let that set and completely dry. And then once it's dry, you're ready to go. Thank y'all for tuning in.